So we are first having breakfast in this cute little diner. Before we head out to our adventure for the day. Fort Ross was a thriving Russian-American company settlement from 1812 to 1841. Today, the fort itself consists of several buildings surrounded by stockade walls. Several other Russian-era buildings have been reconstructed. The first Russian Orthodox chapel south of Alaska, the stockade, the Kuskov house, the officials' barracks, the fur warehouse, and two corner block houses. So we are now at Fort Ross, which is two hours north of San Francisco. So I did not know this existed, that this replica of a Russian era 1800s fur trading community existed <laughs> anywhere near us. So it was quite a surprise um, researching where we can visit uh, north of San Francisco just because we have um, time to sort of explore. And this is pretty surprising and it's really beautiful. Really beautiful. Oh, um, it is $10 entrance fee. Dogs are allowed on paved areas only. That's why I'm carrying Bailey because this is no longer um, inside the actual fort is no longer a paved area. The Kuskov house was the residence of Ivan Alexandrovich Kuskov, who founded Ross and was the first administrator. It served as the colonial administrator's house from before 1817 until 1836, where all businesses were conducted. Four of the five Fort Ross managers lived here. Fort Ross was the southernmost settlement in the Russian colonization of the North American continent. Chartered by Russia's Tsarist government, controlled all Russian exploration, trade and settlement in the North Pacific, and established permanent settlements in Alaska and California as an agricultural base to supply Alaska.
so when this fort was in use it was actually only used for commerce and it only housed the officials um, involved in that commerce the village grew around the fort so all the common people pretty much lived outside the fort which is pretty messed up <laughs> so i guess in times of danger or what have you they would just have to go inside So we pretty much did not see or visit all the places that we wanted to visit today. Even though we started pretty early, we didn't account for the route that we would be taking from place to place. Um, I did not realize, actually both of us didn't realize that we would be taking the coastal highway, which is Highway 1, the entire time. And the speed in that route is pretty much 25, 35, 55. And it fluctuates the entire time. And so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to go to all the places that we had planned for. Today is pretty much just a wash. So I'm just going to continue on this day to tomorrow. <laughs> 